Midland, Odessa, and Big Spring. This is ABC Big Two News at 10. Now at 10, newly released graphic body cam video tonight shows the end of a police chase that's now sparking protests. Over excessive use of force, eight police officers in Akron, Ohio shot and killed a 25-year-old man and a medical examiner said the man's body had more than 60 gunshot wounds. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Rob Tuke. Now, protests have ignited over this shooting death because at that time, 25-year-old Jalen Walker was shot and killed. Police say he was unarmed. Now, we must warn you, this next video you're about to see is graphic. Now a gun was later recovered from his car. The man's family is calling for peace tonight as protesters take to the streets demanding justice. ABC's M. Nguyen has that newly released body cam video. Protesters in Akron, Ohio demanding answers for Jalen Walker. We want justice! Sunday afternoon, officials released graphic body cam footage showing the moment police shot and killed a 25-year-old black man appearing to be unarmed when he was shot, according to the police chief. The video you're about to watch is heartbreaking, and it's very tough to take in. Walker was shot early Monday morning after officers tried to pull him over for a traffic and equipment violation. We'd like to know why he shot down like a dog. Simple as that. Why is that necessary? Authorities say when Walker didn't stop his vehicle, officers chased him for several minutes. They claim, and body cam video appears to show, a single gunshot was fired from inside his vehicle. When the car slowed, police say, Walker then ran away into a parking lot, adding actions by the suspect caused officers to perceive he posed a deadly threat to them. The video shows multiple officers fire what appears to be dozens of rounds at Walker as he fled on foot. At the time he was shot, more than 90 or 60 or whatever the unbelievable number will be, he was unarmed. Police Chief Stephen Milet said the medical examiner's report indicates over 60 wounds to Walker's body. Though it's unclear how many times he was shot, Milet spoke directly to Walker's family during Sunday's press conference. You've asked for peace in an environment that is ripe for aggression and violence. If Jalen reflects the character of this family, you raised a good son. And again, my deepest condolences and sympathies. The mayor has promised an independent investigation. Utilizing an independent entity to conduct the initial investigation into the incident will be a further step in increasing the trust and accountability with our citizens. The officers involved are now on paid administration leave pending the outcome of that investigation. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington. We turn now to the holiday rush and the nightmare for many travelers this 4th of July weekend. Thousands of flights are delayed again today and across the country frustration is mounting on what is expected to be the busiest travel day of this record weekend. ABC's Phil Lipoff reports on the Independence Day rush. Tonight, Americans trying to get to family and friends this holiday weekend are finding it more difficult by the day. My flight got canceled, but I didn't find out until I got to the gate. At airports across the country, TSA screening more than 2 million passengers a day since Friday. Numbers not seen since the pandemic began, and passengers are feeling it. We got delayed on our first flight, and we had to switch flights, and we're hoping it doesn't happen again because we have stuff to do. and. We want to get home, so we'll see. The Logans trying to fly out of Boston back to Michigan after a family reunion. Air travel has been plagued this weekend with delays and cancellations. Today alone, more than 280 flights canceled nationwide, more than 2,800 delayed. On top of nearly 700 U.S. flights canceled and more than 5,600 delayed Saturday. They canceled my flight as I'm boarding a plane. I spent $656 on a ticket, and now I'm still trying to find a way to get home. 
Sporadic bad weather and employee shortages at airlines contributing to the ripple effect nationwide. The three most affected airports this weekend, Hartsfield-Jackson in Atlanta, Newark in New Jersey, and JFK in New York, where for a brief time today, Terminal 4 was evacuated due to a security incident. By the time the all-clear was given, only minor delays reported. The roads are congested too. AAA predicts a record 42 million people will drive this weekend. That's a half a million more than the volume pre-pandemic. Because when I checked with the airplane prices, it was like ridiculous. I mean, real high. The average price of a plane ticket, $437, up 45% from 2019. Gas prices high, too. On average, $5 a gallon across the country, with the West Coast seeing the highest prices. The busiest roads expected to be in Atlanta, Boston, and Chicago. And the busiest day of the four-day weekend, today. And that was Phil Lipoff reporting. We turn now to new details tonight about a deadly crash that happened earlier today in Odessa. OPD responded to a two-car crash on the 6100 block of North Grandview around 725 this morning. Investigators say 23-year-old Alyssa McDowell was heading northbound in a 2016 Honda Accord with a 19-year-old passenger in the car. Investigators say McDowell's car left its lane and struck a black GMC Sierra. McDowell died at the scene. Her 19-year-old passenger and the 24-year-old driver of the truck that was also hit were both taken to the hospital with injuries. Police say next of kin was told. And across Texas tonight, a Texas woman accused of killing a professional cyclist in Austin has been brought back to Texas tonight by U.S. Marshals after weeks on the run and several apparent attempts to escape police. 34-year-old Caitlin Marie Armstrong is seen here, arriving at the George Bush Intercontinental Airport after being caught in a hostel in Costa Rica. As she returns to the United States, Armstrong faces a murder charge. Armstrong remained silent while being asked about the death of 25-year-old Anna Mariah Wilson. Police say the shooting may have stemmed over the victim's past relationship with the suspect's boyfriend. Also across Texas tonight, two people are dead and four others, including three officers, are hurt after a shooting. Police were called to a home in Haltom City around 7 on Saturday night. Two people were found dead, one inside the home, the other on the driveway. The suspected gunman shot at officers before police say he took his own life. And a five-year-old is dead and an eight-year-old is injured in the hospital after a drive-by shooting in North Houston. Police say the shooting happened around 1 o'clock this morning when the children's mother was stopped at a stoplight. Police say two suspects passed by in a car opening fire into the mother's vehicle, hitting both of the children. So far, no arrests have been made. And in Uvalde today, around a dozen protesters, including parents of children killed in the Uvalde school shooting, held signs on the street by the town center memorial site. They are calling for the resignation of the district attorney and for Pete Arredondo to step down as school police chief. One sign read, the cowardice of a few cost the lives of many. Many of the 21 memorials at the makeshift memorial site have been taken down. The six remaining memorials are being cleaned and tidied up by people. People are still stopping by to pay their respects. And much closer to home tonight, taking a live look from our I-20 camera in Odessa. A lot of people hitting the roads this 4th of July weekend and a lot of families basking in the good sunshine we had today. Joining us now for a check in our forecast is ABC Big 2's Bridget Sarpong. Hi, Bridget. Hi, Rob. And you're right. Today, many families were definitely basking in the sun. And you know what? Myself, I was basking in the sun because it was hot. A high of 95 degrees today. And I'm really excited because we actually tied with our average at 85. A hot day in the basin, but not as hot as we were back in 1983 when we sat in our triple digits at 106 degrees. I'll have more of the 4th of July, you know, week weather later on in the show. Back over to you, Rob. Thank you, Bridget. And be sure to join us tomorrow morning right here on ABC Big 2 at 1130. We will be live in downtown Odessa from Kelly Grimsley Kia for our entire newscast for the first downtown Odessa 4th of July parade. We'll be right off the parade route. Come say hi if you're in the area. And that route starts on 17th Street and ends at 9th Street. This awesome parade starts at 10 o'clock. It's being put on by the Odessa Downtown Lions, and it will end with a lot of family fun at the American Legion building.
Make sure your lid is always open before you light it. The 4th of July means a lot of grilling with family and friends. Now, fire crews are hoping they don't have to show up to your cookout either. Coming up, the tips they're sharing tonight about safe grilling. And the Rockhounds had a chance to win their series tonight. Highlights from the Diamond coming up in sports. Plus, we got highlights from the big leagues. Two different outcomes tonight for the two Texas teams. We'll be right back. When you have a big family like ours, you're always looking for a great value. That's why we bought our new home from A1 Homes. We traded in our mobile home and got a great deal on a new one. The best part? Now another family can purchase our pre-owned home at a great price. A1 Homes can also help you find land and financing. They have homes perfect for any size family. A1 Homes. Trade in, trade up. Serving Midland and Odessa. Se habla español. A1 is number one. Hi, welcome to Celebration of the Arts at the Shop Center. Shop Center? <laughs> I'm at the wrong place. Um, you don't need those here. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. The 38th Annual Celebration of the Arts at the Shap Center at Midland College, July 15th through July 17th. Friday night, grab your tickets and your friends and preview fine art at our premiere party. Free admission Saturday and Sunday with great art, food trucks, and fun activities for the whole family. Howdy. 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 For Friday tickets and more information, visit acmmidland.org. Your hometown furniture and mattress store, Allen's Gallery, is stocked full with name brands like Flex Seal, Lazy Boy, Ashley, Wow, Pedic, and many more. Ready for immediate free delivery within 100 miles. Wow! I want to thank you for shopping at Allen's Gallery. We promise to provide you top value for your money. And remember, we'll save you money. Wow! What makes Best Reviews the best reviews? Milk. They have an unbiased team that researches products in real-world situations to give reliable recommendations on pretty much everything. So you can be confident that whatever you're buying is right for you, no matter what life throws at it. Like your daughter Clementine, for example. For the best reviews, go to bestreviews.com. Seriously, before you buy anything, ever. Ugh, stipated. Feeling weighed down by a backed up gut. Miralax is different. It works naturally with the water in your body to unblock your gut. Free your gut and your mood will follow. AMID is the Basin's first television station. From 1953 until now and beyond. We're always first, always accurate, and always proud to call the Basin home. Watch ABC Big 2 News. Get ready for your day with meteorologist Ryan DePhillips. And now, your local weather authority forecast. Well, happy Sunday, and you know what? Streets are looking pretty busy. Take a look at our Odessa Skycam. You know, 4th of July weekend is here. People are continuing on and having some fun. We are seeing a little bit of some shake because the winds are front and center. Thanks to Roost by Nicholas. You know, everyone have a safe 4th of July. And we're going to continue with that because today was a nice hot day of some more celebration and some grilling. A high of 95 degrees. Our average, look at that, we made it. We tied at 95. A hot day in the basin, but not as hot as how we were back in 1983 when we sat in our triple digits at 106 degrees. Now, taking a look at our lows, we did come, you know, one degree short, sitting at 71. Usually around this time, we're definitely used to 72 degree temperatures. Now, you know what? We'll take what we can get because we tied for today. We're sitting at our average temperatures. So, hey, a little bit of temperatures, not bad whatsoever. Taking a look at our currents, we are cooling down down just a bit. You know, we are sitting pretty warm, sitting at 83 degrees. Our humidity is sitting at 48. Our dew point sitting at 54. And then the winds from that Midland, the Odessa Sky Cam shows that we are traveling south, southeast at 20 miles per hour. Now we're going to continue to cool on down as the sun continues to set. Uh, well, it's already set, but it's going to continue to set a little bit more for us to be actually in our 70s. We are cooler by 3 degrees in the Midland Odessa area. In Big Spring, we're 5 degrees cooler. In Pecos, we've actually stayed the same. In Seminole, we're 5 degrees cooler. In Snyder, 8 degrees.
degrees cooler, but there are some areas that have warmed up in Presidio sitting 10 degrees warmer. So hey, we'll take what we can get. And actually, speaking of down south over in Marfa and Presidio and in Alpine, we're seeing some rain action. I know a lot of us have prayed for that rain, and we're just seeing it in the Marfa and Alpine area. We continue to see that into our Monday. You know, we're going to start it off at 7 a.m. Pretty clear skies, nice and warm, pretty mild. And then by the time we get into 2 p.m., that's where we're going to see some of that rain happening in Pecos, Fort Stockton, Marfa, and a little bit in Alpine. Now, the rain's going to come up, pick on up by the time we get into 9 p.m. in Fort Stockton and in Marfa, Pecos as well. And we also do see some of that cloud cover going on in the middle of Odessa area. You know, pretty clear skies. We might see a little bit of some neighborhoods with some rain, but not bad whatsoever. Then we get into Tuesday morning. It's a clear kind of morning, just some cloud cover over in Dryden. And for the most part, we'll take what we could get. A little bit of some rain, but by the time we get into 10 p.m., that cloud cover. So, hey, let's enjoy this 4th of July weekend. And then we get into tomorrow. We will be seeing our 70s for a mild kind of morning. And we're going to start off at 74 at 8 a.m. Then by noon, we go all the way up to 88. And then by 5 p.m., we will be sitting at 95. You know, warmer afternoon. We'll take all the good that we can get. A couple tips, you know, drink lots of fluids because we are going to be out, um, you know, enjoying the sun. And if you do are in and catch up with that storm, stay indoors until that storm does pass on over. You know, 95 degrees, Rob, for tomorrow. 10% chance of some PM showers. We'll take what we can get. Let's just make the most of it, really. I'm excited to grow. Absolutely, Bridget. <laughs> Me too. But I don't have a grill, so I'm just going to be eating all the food that I can from any restaurants or whatever. I don't there know what I'm going to be making. Uh, hey, I, it's all out there for me just to make. Anyway, there I'm you a, go. Well, I'm a very bad cook, so we're gonna we're gonna find out. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Bridget. Well, speaking of grilling, we're just a couple of hours away from the 4th of July, and I'm sure you know people are busy celebrating all weekend. You can probably smell it before you see it. People firing up their grills. Whatever's on the menu, there's a lot to know about playing with fire and staying safe. ABC's Irene Shaw has more. Fire officials sounding the alarm after an unattended grill in Longview, Texas started a blaze charring this home. The hot embers got on the ground with all the dead vegetation, the dryness and everything, and, and it spread to the house. And July is the peak month for grilling. Because of that, we do tend to see more grilling fires during the month of July. All right, here we go. Firefighters caution many people forget basic safety tips. Make sure you're grilling outdoors, never indoors. Make sure your lid is always open before before you light it. Keep this away from anything that can burn around the side as well as up top, ideally 10 feet away, and make sure it's on a stable surface and there's no leaks. If you smell something that could be a leak, turn off the gas immediately and look for the source. You could take a little bit of, of soap, your, your Dawn dish soap is mm -hmm. fine with water, a little soapy solution, spread it along that hose, and then where the leak is coming out, it'll create a little bubbles. And depending on what kind of brush you use, it can be a hazard. As we're scraping it, a lot of times these metal shards stay onto the grill, mm. and because that those shards get into your food, and then eventually you swallow it. And if there is a fire that breaks out, know how to use a fire extinguisher. So one of the acronyms we tell our, uh, the citizen to remember is PASS. That's pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. Okay, so we're going to pull the pin out so right one of the here. Things, you're going to pull the pin. Got the pin, right? the pin off. You're going to aim where you'd like to uh, extinguish. Got it. Then you're going to go ahead and squeeze. All right, here we go. And sweep. Yeah. That was there so easy. Go. Good job. Okay, so that was good practice, but hopefully we'll never have to use that. But take a look at this situation right here. This is a perfect example of something that's dangerous. This barbecue is just so close to this tree. If we were actually using it, we should wheel it out just a few more feet. Another note of caution. It is getting really hot out there. It is easy to personally overheat. So if you are outside, make sure and drink plenty of water. Zoreen Shah, ABC News, Los Angeles. And now, your ABC Big Two Sports. Now tonight, the last place Midland Rockhounds, they had a chance to win their series against the first place San Antonio Missions in their last home game until July 22nd. So they're going to have to try to make a count here. Former Texas Tech Red Raider Ty Dameron on the bump tonight for the Hounds. And he was special tonight. Dameron pitched seven and a third innings, 97 pitches. He took a no-hitter into the sixth inning, only allowing three hits all night, two runs, Walked one, struck out nine in a quality start. Fans stayed for fireworks after the game, of course, but they got some early in the sixth. Brett Harris pulls a ball high and deep over the wall and left. Nice catch by the fan there. Third homer of the season for Harris. Midland goes up 2-0. 
Same inning, just a couple batters later, William Simonite goes opposite field into the Hounds bullpen. Nice play there. Simonite goes Apo Taco for his fourth long ball of the season. It's three to nothing. Hounds, they're not done in the inning, though. They're able to tack on one more run in the inning. Marty Bikina singles home. Chase Calabweek zooming past third to score. Rockhounds take the series over first place San Antonio, and they end the homestand with a 5-2 win. All right, Astros and Angels taking it to Houston here in the fourth inning. Astros down 2 nothing, but Jeremy Pena, the rookie, crushes a solo shot off Jose Suarez, his 10th of the season. It's a 2-1 game. Framber Valdez rolling for the Astros. Fifth inning, Mike Trout goes down looking. Next batter, Valdez gets Shohei Otani chasing. Valdez struck out 12 of 18 Angels batters in the first five innings. Bottom of the fifth, two on for Jose Altuve. He rips a single off of Oliver Ortega. And Chase, uh, Scar excuse me, Chas McCormick scores Ast Astros. They tie the game at two. Sixth inning, though, Valdez continues his dominance. Just your regularly scheduled program here. Striking out another for a three strikeout game for Stefanik on the Astros in his Major League debut. Valdez, six innings there. Astros pitchers, they struck out 20 Angels there, but that's Jeremy Pena, the rookie, who hits his second homer of the game. And that would do it. A two-run walk-off shot off Ryan Tapera, his second of the game, and Astros win 4-2. All right, Rangers and Mets out east in New York. First inning, no score. Starling Marte off of John Gray for the solo shot. That's Marte's ninth homer of the year. Mets playing from in front. They lead 1-0. Third inning, same score, though. Jonah Heim, one of the best home run hitters at the catcher position, hits one off of Carlos Carrasco, his 12th homer of the year, and we're tied at 1. Fourth inning, though, same score. Jeff McNeil with an extra base hit. He doubles into the corner off of Gray. That scores Pete Alonzo. Mets take a 2-1 lead. And right after that, the next batter, Eduardo Escobar, trying to do some damage here. And he does a ton of it. A two-run shot off Gray. His third homer in three days to make it his ninth of the year. He torched the Rangers this series as the Mets win 4-1. to one. So uh, splitting, the you know, I guess between the Astros and the Rangers. Astros sweep their series. Rangers lose theirs. Rockhounds, though, they win their series. They're not going to be back home for almost three weeks, though. So hope you were able to get into Momentum Bank ballpark over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, absolutely. It's one way to start the 4th of July with the bang by winning the series for the Rockhounds. Congrats to I was going to say, those last three days of the homestand were just fireworks, 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 and the Rockhounds able to do that on the field as well. Yes, sir. Thank you, Avi. And after the break tonight, the driver of a jet truck killed at a 4th of July air show is being remembered tonight by family. What investigators are saying tonight about that terrifying tragedy. We'll be right back. the perfect mattress if you sleep hot. The M. Lilly mattress with wall-hugging adjustable base and fans built into the base to ensure cool, comfortable sleep. Now here's my promise to you. You'll never sleep hot again. Only at Bob Mills Sleep Spa. Here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna stack some stuff. The fish are mad at me. I'm talking big stuff. Little stuff. Silly stuff. Nasty stuff. It's wobbling. It's wobbling, y'all! And in order to win it all, you can't let it fall. I forgot to tell y'all there's a panda. The final straw premieres July 10th on ABC. We've all heard that as soon as you drive a new car off the lot, it depreciates by $5,000. Well, right now, if you own a current or one-year-old Honda or Kia, Kelly Grimsley Auto Group will give you your money back. We'll buy it back so you can upgrade into a newer model without losing a dime. Roll into fun this summer with half price attractions at Music City Mall. Fun hours are back now until the end of summer. You and your family can enjoy all attractions half price Monday through Friday from noon till 3, including the new MCM Rink and Roll Roller Skate Rink. Let the kids play while you cool off and shop at over 100 merchants. Live music weekends and 11 screens of movies are back. It may be hot outside, but it's cool inside at Music City Mall with shopping, dining, and fun. People say we're too set in our ways. This is Jesse. We've had it forever. We just prefer things the way they are. I'm giving him the usual. Oh, sweetie, you got a fax. Can you hear me? 
Can you hear me? Change is overrated. Indeed. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And if it is broke... We make do. I guess that's why we spend too much on energy every month. Don't be a holdover. Switch to Champion Energy where there's no surprise charges, no hidden fees, and you always get a fair price. Champion Energy. The Bob Mills Freedom Event lets you have this luxury reclining sofa love seat with designer pillows. Plus, I'm giving you the $800 matching recliner free. Come celebrate all of the free during the Bob Mills Freedom Event. Watch Good Morning Basin from 5 to 7 on ABC Big 2. Now to an update tonight about a terrifying tragedy at a Michigan air show. A stunt on the ground ended in a violent crash as people watched. Tonight, the driver of the so-called jet truck is being identified as 40-year-old Chris Darnell. Investigators say his truck was going 300 miles per hour at the time of the crash. ABC's Ike Jachi has those latest details. Police have identified the man who died after a large explosion during the pyrotechnic portion of a Michigan air show. Authorities say 40-year-old Chris Darnell was driving this truck called the Shockwave Jet Truck. It was racing two low-flying planes at the Battle Creek Field of Flight Air Show. It's one of the largest air shows in the country, known for its high speed and death-defying stunts. The show's website advertising the Shockwave as the world's only triple jet engine truck. Darnell was traveling at speeds over 300 miles per hour down the runway, before witnesses say parts of his truck, which was also carrying an aircraft, began and flying off. You didn't really understand kind of what happened when you first watched it. But then once you realized, like, you just knew it wasn't going to be good. Elizabeth Matthews was there and says she was initially caught off guard. He spun in circles and then rolled and then kind of where he landed it then, you know, caught fire. A massive fireball on the airfield appears to cause the truck itself to catch fire and roll over several times. It's unclear if the first explosion was planned. The crowd stunned. Onlookers gasping as an announcement made it clear something went wrong and emergency teams raced to the scene of the crash. The driver's father posting a statement on Facebook saying, We are so sad. Just one month ago, Chris turned 40. He was so well loved by everyone who knew him. Chris so loved the air show business. He was living the dream, as he said. That was Ike Jachi reporting the Shockwave truck is advertised as the world's only triple engine jet truck, a modified semi equipped with three engines, originally from a U.S. Navy plane, giving it 36,000 horsepower. It can travel at more than 350 miles per hour. The U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds posted on Facebook that Darnell had performed alongside them for many years and was a staple of the air show community. And last night, military honors long overdue. The heartwarming story of a U.S. veteran who's finally getting the recognition he deserves. Priority ER Care. We have the newest CT, X-ray, ultrasound, and labs facility in the Permian Basin with the capability of handling both simple and complex medical crises. Priority ER Care. We've seen it all. We do it fast. Suddenlink is becoming Optimum. And bit by bit, we're making big changes to reconnect with you. Like building Optimum Fiber, a new 100% fiber internet network and combining it with Optimum Mobile for complete connectivity. We're giving you more flexibility with no forced bundles or annual contracts. And we're here for you with 24-7 support, with your satisfaction backed by a 60-day money-back guarantee. Little by little, progress adds up to something bigger. Reconnecting with you. Let's reconnect. <laughs> Celebrate 4th of July with great deals at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Take up to 50% off pools. Get grills starting at $59.99. And get Academy logo chairs for $5.99. Visit your store or academy.com. Deals end Monday. 
if we're going to spend a third of our lives sleeping, shouldn't we try to get the best sleep possible? That's why Denver Mattress is all about that sleep life. And during the star-spangled 4th of July sale, save big on the Doctor's Choice Firm. Now, just $599.99. Check out the budget-friendly Summit Firm for only $299.99. Or save up to $500 on Temper Breeze mattresses and get a $300 gift. Plus, six years no interest and free shipping. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. And last tonight, military honors that are long overdue. A 97-year-old World War II veteran is receiving a Purple Heart, Prisoner of War and Bronze Star medals after 77 years. ABC's Whit Johnson reports. Precious medals, 77 years in the making. It's a Purple Heart. For World War II veteran, 97-year-old William Willie Kellerman. I remember every second of it. It's something you never forget. At just 19 years old, after storming the beaches of Normandy, Kellerman was captured by the Germans on July 4th, 1944. A German tank, and he aimed it right at me. I said, I surrender, Ficker. This is the end of me. But he would later escape by throwing himself under a hedge, hiding from German soldiers. I lay there until I got out of sight, and I picked up and I ran like hell. Traveling nearly 600 miles, encountering the French resistance, Kellerman forced to prove he was American by answering one question, who won the 1943 World Series? Well, I know that the Yankees won. Kellerman later going back into battle, getting shot in the hand and leg. Years later, his family wondering why he never got the recognition he deserved. His youngest daughter, Jean, discovering an administrative oversight and a fire that destroyed most of his Army records. And I thought, I have to... I have to get him these medals. He deserves this. It would take five years of hard work with both the U.S. Army and the French to put the pieces together, culminating in this moment. After 77 years, this week, Willie Kellerman receiving the Purple Heart, Prisoner of War, and Bronze Star medals. It's like I've been living in the dark all my life, and all of a sudden, all the lights went on. And on this 4th of July weekend, grateful to a nation he served. God bless America. <laughs> that was Whit Johnson reporting. We're glad to see he finally gets the recognition he deserves. And of course, thank you for your service. We'll be right back. Do you know the fastest growing cable news network in America? I'll give you a hint. It's News Nation. We're new and we're different. If you're looking for news without the noise? Come back to the news the way it used to be. News Nation. News for all America. From mitigating mice in Midland to tackling ticks in tall city and wiping out black widows in West Texas, no one knows Midland Odessa pests better than Fox. That's because Fox Pest Control is locally operated and dedicated to keeping our community pest free. And now we're offering 50% off your initial service with any new contract. Visit foxpestlocal.com for details. Fox Pest Control, local experts, killer results. Your hometown furniture and mattress store, Allen's Gallery, is stocked full with name brands like Flex Seal, Lazy Boy, Ashley, Wow, Pedic, and many more. Ready for immediate free delivery within 100 miles. Wow! I want to thank you for shopping at Allen's Gallery. We promise to provide you top value for your money. And remember, we'll save you money. Wow! Hi, welcome to Celebration of the Arts at the Shop Center. Shop Center? <laughs> I'm at the wrong right place. Um, you don't need those here. Oh, gosh. Okay. The 38th Annual Celebration of the Arts at the Shap Center at Midland College, July 15th through July 17th. Friday night, grab your tickets and your friends and preview fine art at our premiere party. Free admission Saturday and Sunday with great art, food trucks, and fun activities for the whole family. Howdy! 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 For Friday tickets and more information, visit acmmidland.org. 
And let's take one let's look at that seven day forecast. Now, you know what? Tomorrow, 4th of July, we've been celebrating all weekend and we're going to continue on tomorrow. We are going to have 10% chance of some PM thunderstorms, but mostly in the Marfan Alpine area, Middle Odessa area will be sort of kind of clear. But apart from that, hey, let's enjoy 4th of July. Thank you so much, Bridget. And that's all the time we have for news tonight. Join us tomorrow and good night and happy 4th of July.